Hello friend, this is Moin from Structural Video. Welcome to my next video tutorial of Start Pro version VI Tie Concrete Structure Analyze and Design video tutorial series. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to analyze the model. So we have already defined load cases. All the load cases and load combination is also done now. And to analyze model, first go to here command. Then you can see here analyze. Then perform analyze. Okay now go to here analyze you can see here run analyze or you can press ctrl plus a5 so click here then save it will take some time to analyze and if you have a, any error in your model then it will not run so you can see here the analysis is done and it is asking three options which is view output file go to post processing mode and stay in modeling mode and if i check this option then click done it will just show the this model and if i check this go to post processing mode so from here i can check everything all the value i'm getting after analyze so say select the second option then done then okay you can see here by default when you are in post processing mode you can see here this icon deflection is selected and here is a load case you can see 12 here and you can see here the deflection but you can see it properly so if you click from your keyboard control plus alt R, then scroll your mouse wheel then you can see the value is increasing so the deflection value is increasing but there is no value if you want to see value you have to go to here result then view value select here beam result and if you click here this fourth option displacement with maximum displacement then click annotate close you can see at the value but this is very difficult to check this value this way so you have to check value as per it line of column so go to this b from y and using beam cursor select this line so write new view okay and now you can check the value very easily so this is showing for this load combination and if you want to check later deep you can select this code say earthquake this is for earthquake and you can see here in all history the value is showing here so you have to check this as per your code requirement if this is an allowable limit so you can check with this wind so this way you can check lateral deflection and first time showing how to check reaction so to check reaction you click at this display holy structure and be from z then select this all support right click new view or you can go to here view then you can see view selected object only then 3d so you can go here and now if we want to show a reaction here you can see here at the right uh, left side the reaction button if you click here the reaction button you can see the reaction but this is very difficult to understand but you can move this value by clicking this taking this select text and if you select text then you can move this and you can see this is for this and also you can move this this is for this but it is uh, also difficult to understand this way so i'm going to show you a very easy way so i can take a print of my reaction so to take a print click uh, this way now from your key uh, press shift then press s to turn off the support then shift k to turn on the node then shift n to turn on the node number and you can also turn on these numbers from going by going to have symbol and level you can see here node number support beam number etc and if you check this and then apply ok you will see this is here so this is the way and now after showing this node number you can show this this way if you like going to any from top view but i am just showing this is as 3d view i like this way now click here this icon take picture so we have already taken two pixels this is pixel 3 then ok go to here file then report setup from here first check picture and picture 3 move this to right side clicking this right arrow and if you want to print job information you can do you can, it is by default selected if you don't want to select this one and move this to here and now go to here again and output then from here reaction and after your analysis is done then you can see this option output then reaction and send them to right side then click here load cases and move this all here as we want the reaction 
which is, should be unfactored so i have defined this dead load plus live load for the reaction so select this one and move this to selected so this is in right side now click ok again go to here file then print preview report you can see here the image the first picture we have taken this is my pic, uh, my picture and individually under all node you can see here this reaction and if you want to take reaction for all the load case then you have to select the load case from there all that then it will be shown here the reaction and all this load now you click here print and select your printer then if you click here then it will be printed so if i click ok then in desktop reaction you can see the reaction has been printed so this way you can print reaction and now go to whole model and and see how you can check uh, beam value which is beam moment and share for so select this floor beam right click new view ok 3d view and you can see here we have uh, the deflected value is showing just click uh, uncheck the deflection icon to turn off the deflection now click here mz which is bending mode shift into turn off node node number now you can see here the bending moment but if you select here load case you can you see this is very small so if you press ctrl alter and scroll your mouse then you can make this is smaller or bigger and now going to here result view value beam result if you click this say maximum bending moment if you want to show then annotate close you can see here maximum bending moment of is beam but this is not very specific way you can double click on any beam and going here share bending you can also check from here first select this say this load case and this is bending y you can see here the bending and also you can use call mouse to see value you can see here the value distance this and share for share fy this is you can see here the maximum share for share here is 10 point something and the moment is this and if you go to here you can see moment share force and if you go to here it's called the mouse here then you can see the value here and you can also check share force y going to specific any specific combination from here okay done and from here also if you right select this on right click new view okay and if you go to here you can see here envelope combination and from here you can check the value and this is the bending moment as we have selected this bending moment so if you want to check share for then you have to click here this icon you can see here fy and turn off this bending moment and you can see the value if you don't see the value you have to go to here result view value beam result then you have to check this share force maximum annotated close now you can see the value and if you go to here envelope then you can check the maximum share force of this beam then using this value you have to design the beam if you want to do this manual so this way you can value for beam now see how you can check value for column so this is share for selected click on this now click on any column double click then from here you can see going to share bending the same way you can check the value from here and if you go to right click new view okay say this is my and go to here result view value the same way you can check maximum okay so maximum moment this is my you can you can click mz so this way you can check and you have to select here envelope combination to check the maximum value and if you want to check this axial force of the column click here uh, axial force you can see the icon here and you can show value going to have result view value beam so this is axial force annotated close so you can see here the axial force and going to individual combination you can check so this way you can also check axial force if you go to here whole model you can see here the value and if you want to check this from this 3d model you can do but control alter is called the mouse to make them smaller then go to here result view value then beam result axial annotated close so from here you can check but it is very difficult so wise way is either go to on any frame or select any individual column to check the value so this way you can check parameters 
for your structural design and thanks for watching my this video in the next video i will show you how to design uh, this mem using this stat pro so if you like this video subscribe my channel see you in the next video